What's up, party animals? Welcome back to Party On Forever. I'm Andy, and this is a 2007 Harley Davidson Dyna. If you've been following the channel for a while, you know this uh, belongs to my buddy Chris Lane, and um, I just replaced the motor in it. It's still running good, tip top. We're not having any issues there, but I guess Chris decided now that he's got a good functioning bad boy engine in here. Maybe he'll be doing some wheelies or something. I'm not really sure what happened, but he snapped his clutch cable. And uh, he said, hey man, can you put a new clutch cable on for me? And I said, heck yeah, dude. I'm in the name of the game. It's the name of the game. I'm playing the game. I'm lame. I don't know. I'm trying to find something there, but yes. He needs a clutch cable replaced, and I said, sure, I'm gonna do it. Overall, it's not a hard process, but it's a little annoying. We have to drain the transmission, which I just put new transmission oil in this bike a couple weeks ago. Uh, you have to take the exhaust off to be able to get to the transmission cover. That's about it. That's a little annoying, but you gotta do those things to get to the root of the problem. So anyway, let's get to it. Loosen your fill plug on the transmission so that way there will be a, you know, no vacuum air flow so it can come out the bottom. So I'm going to try to reuse the transmission fluid that we just put in there. It's literally like two weeks old and um, that's a shame to you lose all that transmission fluid. So I'm gonna take a pretty clean drain pan and we're going to catch that oil and try to reuse it. Then you're going to need to open the drain underneath. There are a couple different drain plugs down here, one for the engine, one for the transmission, um, and one for the primary actually. So just make sure that you're taking the right one out. Okay, now we're gonna take the exhaust off Get it out of the way. Everybody's exhaust is a little different, but figure out yours comes on and off and take it off, dude. It's important that you keep all your hardware together, pay attention to where it goes, and don't, uh, don't misplace and lose stuff. Okay, we got the exhaust off. Um, what I did was ended up taking this O2 sensor off the pipe as opposed to trying to feed the clip through the frame and stuff. I remember when I was putting all this back together, I had the hardest time getting that fed up through there. So I just took this off the pipe over here. You, the front one, it just connects to a clip up there pretty easily to get to, but you pull those off in one full piece. Time to take the transmission cover off, which will be fun. I believe when we pull these things out, they're going to be different sizes possibly. So I like to 
keep in order of where they came from because you never know if they're going to be long and short, short and long, or all the same size, but I think some of these will be longer than the others, right? That's true. So the top two are going to be shorty guys, and I think the rest of them are going to be long like this. So just keep them in order. I always like do a clockwise order and start, you know, at a rememberable spot. So it's just like one, two, three, four, five, six, you know? You know? Okay, um, so we got the cover off. What you're gonna find now is you got a snap ring right here, right? That's gonna hold your inner and outer uh, race, I think they call it, clutch. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what any of this stuff's called. But you're gonna take this snap ring off and be careful when you do, because there's some little ball bearings back here in this guy that can and will fall out. There we go. Why was that so hard for me? I don't know. Probably be really easy for you. Most things I do, they're harder for me than they are for most people. That's just part of it. Here we go. So, like I was saying, there's these little ball bearings in here. If you see, they will come out if you don't watch out. But as long as you remember where they go, you're okay. You take this guy out. And this guy off. Okay, you can pull this guy out that's got the little balls in it and set it to the side. So that way you can do one of these numbers. Beautiful. So now we're gonna put this uh, new cable in, huh? I'll pull this old one out, put the new one in. There she is, all oh, chewed up. It's real rusted in there. So I don't know exactly what happened to him, but I have had a clutch cable uh, snap before, but it didn't look that crazy. Okay, so we got our new clutch cables from Drag Specialties. Uh, Chris already ordered it and had it ready. So, I'm just gonna feed it through the bottom of the bike. You put this guy back in here that's got the balls in it. It's got a tab that has the land right there, right? So you know it's gonna go when it's home. You put this guy back on, it's pretty much only one way to get it all locked back into place. You ought to play with it. It's a little confusing. People get mad that I don't um, expound more or show more of those type of little things. But the whole point of this is you gotta try to figure out how to, if you're coming to YouTube, try to figure out how to do it, you just need to figure out how to do it a little bit. So 
Anyway, this thing is about ready to put back together. What you need now is this little snap ring that I had so much trouble with earlier. We're gonna do it. We're gonna squeeze her together. We're gonna put her in place, dude. That was it, man. I mean, now we gotta put everything back together. But this thing's in here, it's gonna do its job. We'll have to adjust the clutch and all that stuff here in a minute. <clears throat> but we'll put this thing back where it goes, dude. Okay, so now we just put a uh, transmission fluid back in there. Like I said, we're gonna use the fluid that came from the bike. I don't 100% recommend this, but um, I'm doing it. So do whatever you want. Okay, so now we're going to hook up the clutch cable, ran it through the bike up through the triple trees. You got this guy right here, it's a pin that comes out right here and we'll pull this lever out, right? That was the problem. There right there is the snapped end of the clutch cable. Okay, we got the clutch cable on, we got it ran through the bottom of the bike, ran up the frame and to the uh, clutch perch. Uh, you got your little pin that's gonna keep it, you know, on its pivot point, put back in there. Um, and now we just adjust the cable. So, we're just gonna spin it until it gets tied up there. Okay, anyway, we got her on. It was pretty good. We'll have to know when we uh, actually get the bike running. But that feels nice to me. So, clutch cable's installed. Now we just gotta put the exhaust back on and uh, this dude should be ready to rip. But wait, before we get into that, I'd like to tell you guys how you can support the channel if you like what's going on. Please head over to partyonforever.com and it will get you in touch with everything I have going on from the YouTube channel to social media. Uh, you can, as little and as easy as bookmarking my Amazon page and doing all of your Amazon shopping through my Amazon link, or if you like any of the products I use, you can buy any of those products there at my Amazon storefront. Uh, but if you really like the channel, maybe you buy some merch. We got stuff with my face on it. We got party shirts. We got tie-dye. We got hoodies. We got it all, dude. Check it out. It's continually being updated with new merchandise. And if you really, really, really enjoy what's going on and you want to see the channel go to the next level, think about joining in on the party Patreon. Every single dollar and dime I make off of doing this channel from t-shirts to the Patreon, donations and stuff, go right back into being able to do the channel. It's hard to be consistent and have content coming out weekly without having things to work on. My next move is wanting to work on a Sportster chopper that I have a hardtail section sitting over there on the shelf that a good, good, cool dude sent to me that just wanted to support the channel. So we have a piece of the puzzle, now we just gotta keep building. So, if you join the Patreon, uh, then you can start voting on which way you wanna see the build go. If you like a certain set of handlebars, we'll have a poll for that. If you like a certain seat, we'll have a poll for that. You know, we'll kinda build the bike together. So, if you want to have a hand in what that bike's gonna look like and feel like you're building it along with me, 
Um, go over to the Patreon, pick one of the tiers that makes most sense financially for you, and toss a couple of dollars uh, my way a month, and we'll build a chopper together. It's gonna be tight. But anyway, enough of all of that. All right, that was it. Simple, quick, easy, not too rough of a job. So, you know, you break a clutch cable, you're trying to do some wheelies, you're trying to be like, ream, ream, you know, trying to beep, 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 popping that clutch, doing those wheelies, and you break that boy. Um, it's not that hard of a job to fix yourself. If you like the channel, please do subscribe, hit like, if you get something out of it, if you think I'm doing a cool thing, you think I'm doing a dumb thing, leave me a comment. Let me know how much better you are than me. And, um, you know, if you really, really like what's going on, support the channel. Buy a t-shirt, join the Patreon, keep partying, let's chop, rock on.